Hey everybody, this is Kendra and I'm doing the my first time tag. So I'm just going to start doing it because my boyfriend's watching the game and it's going to get mad if I take a long time. Okay, so the first question is, do you still talk to your first love? Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm still with my first love. The second question is, what was your first alcoholic drink? Okay. Um, my first alcoholic drink was, I think it was um, gin straight. That's the first one I, I can like remember. I was in 11th grade and I was on the flag team. And one of the guys in the band, he was like, I think he's drum major. He had a Gatorade bottle filled with gin and everybody else was drinking it and I wanted to be cool too so <laughs> so I um drank out of the cootie Gatorade bottle and it made my whole like my throat burn my whole life burned like it was really bad like I didn't drink anything alcoholic for a long time after that um what was your first job my first job is still my current job and I can't really talk about what I do it's kind of personal um but yeah I still work at my first job um what was your first car okay wow so my first car was a black Chevy Cavalier I think it was a 03 03 or, or 0, it was 03 because I got it in 2006 and I remember I was at school my mom was going to come pick me up which was a rarity because my mom worked nine to five um but for whatever reason, that day my mom said she was going to come pick me up from school. And when she pulled up, she pulled up in a car that was not her black BMW. It was a black something else. I didn't I didn't know. I'd never seen a Chevy Cavalier before. But all I knew was she was in a different car. We had been talking about the type of cars I wanted. I never said I wanted that kind of car. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. And I was so excited. I didn't even have my license then. I don't even think I had a permit. I was just like, yeah. Oh, yeah, new car. I was so excited. Um, who was the first person to text you today? Serena, I think, or maybe she texted me last night. No, I think she texted me this morning because I texted her last night that um, it's pie month at Marie Calendars and Coco's, and I was eating a slice of banana cream pie, which is her favorite kind of pie, and she's prego, so I know she was jealous of me. Go get your own pie, girl. But yeah, she was the first one to text me that something like um, there was a travesty or something that it was wrong for me to text her that, whatever. But she was the first person to text me today. Um, who was the first person you thought of this morning? The first person I thought of this morning was Obama because I am furloughed. And so the first thing I did when I woke up this morning was check to see if I was unfurloughed to see if I could go to work. And I am not on furlough, so I went back to sleep, but the first thing I thought was, Obama did, Obama, did you do me right today? And he did it, he, he still didn't do me right, so. Um, who was your first grade teacher? My first grade teacher was this lovely lady by the name of Miss Branch. And I don't remember much about her, except that she was African-American. And I remember she had individuals, <laughs> individual braids. And she was, I think she was soft-spoken. And she wore glasses. Yeah. <laughs> um, where did you go on your first ride on an airplane? Um... I don't know. I've been a lot of places. I'm not sure where's the first place. Um, maybe it might have been Texas because my dad's from there. And I have memories of going there when I was younger. That might have been the first place I ever went on a plane. Probably. Um, next question. Who was your first best friend and do you still talk? Yes, my first best friend was my best friend Taylor. We, I moved into my mom's house. Me and my mom moved um, when I was five or six. And 
she she lived in an apartment on the corner, but her aunt lived in a house next door to ours, and we used to talk across the gate, like I would be on my side of the gate, and she'd be on her aunt's side of the gate, and we would sit until like the street lights came on, and we would play dolls. I had like a my size Barbie, and she was so jealous of me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, we really did really did do that and it was embarrassing her aunt still talks about it to this day brings it up and taylor actually i think gave me a picture or text me a picture of us sitting across from each other at the gate when we we're six but now i'm 23 i'll be 24 in november and we're still best friends talk all the time and um I actually saw her on saturday we went she wanted me to run some errands when i went to um go visit my mom um Next question, where was your first sleepover? My first sleepover that I can remember was elementary school. And um, it was at my friend Denise's house. Um, I guess it was her birthday or something. For whatever reason, she was having a sleepover. And I went. Not I had two friends named Denise. I had one that's a twin and one that's not a twin. And it was at the one who's not a twin's house. Okay. <laughs> Um, who was the first person you talked to today? My boyfriend, because I live with him, so I'm pretty sure that he was the first person I talked to. Um, whose wedding were you in the first time? So maybe it's like, whose wedding was the first wedding I ever was in? Probably what it means to say. Um, I think the first wedding I ever was in, and I think the only wedding I was ever in, was my dad's wedding to my stepmom. Yeah, I think so. I don't remember. I don't have any more memories of being in weddings. I love weddings. And I'm only ever. I've been in that one, and I've been to maybe one or, I've been to two more. But, wasn't in them. What was the first thing you did this morning? I woke up and I called the counseling office. <laughs> now, the first thing I did was I woke up and checked to see if I was furloughed. But after that, I went back to sleep and I woke up again. Woke up, woke up, like actually woke up to get up. And I called the counseling office for my school because I need a counseling appointment. And they are not answering. So I'm going to have to go to school early tomorrow and um, actually physically go in there and be like, you guys, answer my call. Okay, um, the next question is, what was the first concert you ever went to? Okay, I'm kind of a little bit embarrassed. Um, I'm not sure, I, I've only been to two concerts, and I'm not sure which one came first, because they're both around the same time, and I actually went to both with the same people. But um, the two concerts I ever went to were, um, Justin Timberlake, Christina Aguilera tour, and I love that one. I knew every song of that one. And the other one I went to was the one I'm actually embarrassed about when I went to the B2K concert. And I forget, like, I think it had, like, a name. It wasn't just B2K there. But I remember, like, I always thought, like, I always thought if I ever met a celebrity that I would just be the person who didn't fan out and I just wouldn't act phased by it. And I would just act like, oh my gosh, we're just, we're equals, which we are. I don't think they're better than us, than unfamous people. But I would just act like it was no thing. And we would, they would just want to be my friend. But I didn't even get to meet them. I was in the audience. And as soon as they came on the stage, I was like in hysterics. I was just like, I can't believe I was in the same room. It was really, it was really bad. And I'm actually quite embarrassed by it. And I don't know why I'm telling you guys that. Okay. <laughs> next question. The next question is, first broken bone. No broken bones because I'm not active in any way. When you just sit all day, it's almost impossible to break anything. I do it for my health. I sit for my health. Um, my first piercing were my ears. My mother got my ears pierced when I was a baby, when I was a wee lass. And so I got them both pierced. And then later on in life, I got two more piercings in my ears. 
and I got a nose piercing, but all three of those extra piercings are no longer in commission. I no longer put things in my face or in my ears besides my normal first two piercings. Um, first one country you've gone to. I have not left America. I'm kind of afraid to leave America. Kind of, kind of, I, like, I don't know. I'm afraid that, like, I will leave and then, like, something will happen and I'll lose my passport or somebody will steal it and then I'll be stuck in a foreign country and they won't want me there and then America won't, won't want me back and I'll just be, like, stranded and it will just be really bad. I don't know. But I do, I do think that someday when I have the funds, the coins, when I have the coins to go somewhere that is not America... I think I will work on building up the courage to actually go. Um, first movie you remember seeing. Um, I'm not sure of the very first movie I ever saw. I'm sure it was some children's movie. Maybe it might have been Fern Gully. I don't know. I loved Fern Gully growing up. Like I love that. Or um, what's the movie with the dinosaurs? What was it? Land Before Time. I used to love those too. I used to love Land Before Time movies and Fern Gully and the traditional Disney princess ones. But I have both of my childhood memories and cartoon movies were Fern Gully and Land Before Time. Um, when was your first detention? I remember having detention in elementary school. What? No, it wasn't detention. It was in junior high. And it must have been like 6th or 7th grade because I remember being in the detention and I remember seeing somebody who I went to elementary school with who I didn't even know had went to my school. And it was probably because they probably had detention for ditching and they probably were never actually at school or something. I don't know, but I don't, I don't remember what I did to get detention. Maybe I was, I think I might have been late. Like, because I was such a good kid. Like, growing up, elementary through high school, like, I pretty much did no wrong. I was just like, the perfection just, I'm just, kidding, I'm just kidding though I did I did wrong things but I did strive to not be bad in school kind of I don't know I just didn't never see myself as being the type of person to get detention so I was shocked when I actually got detention and I was kind of scared I kind of felt like I was going to like school prison or something I don't know I don't know <laughs> so that was my first detention um who was your first roommate? My first roommate, besides my mom, would have been my college roommate. And I don't remember her name. When I was at Riverside. I went to UC Riverside for a couple of years. Um, I don't remember her name. We didn't really even get, we didn't get along that well. And I ended up moving out of that room and just going to stay with my two best friends who also went to school with me. And I kind of just like, we bought my, bought me a blow up uh, mattress and we put it right between their two beds. And we just, it was like a slumber party every day. And I didn't get good grades in college. And that might be why, because I was slumber partying it every day. But it's okay. I'm older now and I'm wiser and I'm doing better in school now. But then... Oh, Lord, just take the wheel. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know what I was doing. Um, if you had one wish, what would it be? Am I the only person who just thought about the Ray J song? One wish, one wish, one wish. Just kidding. Just kidding. Anyway, so. Um, if I had one wish... I probably would wish for more wishes, but if like if that was like a rule where I couldn't wish for that, I would probably wish for a lot of money. I probably wish for like six hundred million dollars or like a billion dollars or something, something like that. Because I feel like if you have that kind of money, you don't need wishes because you can just buy whatever you want. It's like. Yes, I, yeah, I wish for like a lot of money. Um, next question. What is something you would learn if you have a chance? Um, 
I'm going to school to get my degree in business. Um, but I want to own a restaurant someday. So I was actually just talking to my boyfriend about it earlier that I guess after I get my bachelor's and maybe my master's if I want to go that far, um, I kind of want to go to culinary school. I don't know if I want to learn just pastries or cooking, just cooking in general. I don't know. I, I, but I would love to actually learn that, go to school for that or act or makeup. I would like to go to school for makeup too. I went to like, I went to the cosmetology school for like three weeks. I shouldn't tell people that. Um, the last question is, what were the first lessons you ever took? Um, swimming lessons? I mean, besides regular school, the only thing... I think, I know I took swimming lessons, so that probably would be it. And I still can't swim. Don't throw me in the pool. Don't, if you see me by a pool, don't push me in the pool because I'll die. And contrary to popular belief, um, heavier people don't float. <laughs> I cannot float. I cannot swim. So I tend to stay away from the water. Like, I live right by the beach. I live pretty close to the beach. And I've lived close to the beach before, and I didn't even go to the beach. Like, and when I go to the beach, I hardly even get in the water. I love life. And I'll hate for my to end. Alright, guys. Well, that is the end of the my first tags. I hope you enjoyed my answers to them. And if you did, please click the thumbs up. And please click subscribe. My channel is new. This is one of my first videos I've done. And I would love for you guys to come along with me on this journey be there and watch my videos and be my friends please okay um I did my makeup too um if you guys want a tutorial on how to do this let me know leave it in the comments or thumbs up for that too if you guys if I get enough of those I will do the tutorial for this I'll put it up but like I said that was my first video and thank you for watching Later, Gators.